Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we want to be talking about some of the rule buffs and how to obtain them. First up is going to be the Dire Malt Tribute buffs. There's going to be three buffs that we're going to be able to get. Um, they might not be the hardest buffs to get, but they might be some of the most confusing, especially for some new players out there. Um, requirements really, you just want some gold to be able to pay somebody to enter a tribute run and get these buffs, or you need to complete the Ogre Suit quest there to get into the dungeon and complete the tribute run yourself which is going to be essentially running the whole dungeon without killing any of the guard bosses there you're going to need four bolts of rune cloth eight rugged leather two rune threads and one ogre tannin obtained inside the dungeon once you've completed the dungeon you killed the last boss there you will be able to be named king you go up to this little guy here and he's going to give you a buff that makes you the king of the ogres. <laughs> Pretty simple. Now what you're going to do is you're going to run back through the instance. You're going to talk to the three bosses. And they're going to each give you a buff. When you're running through this instance, you do want to be careful. Um, especially if you paid for the instance there. Um, sometimes it's not always... Um, fully cleared. There might be some packs that are still able to aggro you mostly mobs are going to be red um, but you won't be able to actually attack them if you have your cursor over these monsters you will be able to see or tell if you can but you're gonna run back through the instance here um, if you do decide to do the ogre tanning quest there you're gonna see the ogre tannins actually on the second floor level uh, just right down here to your right I'm going to point it out here for you, just right there in the corner. There's where you're going to be able to obtain the Ogre Tannin. After that, you're going to jump down here and talk to Guard Slipkick. He's going to be the first guard to give us our buff. Right here to your right, you're also going to see the Goblin, which is going to give you access to the Ogre Suit quest. So you don't want to free him. There, not even during your tribute run after you've received your ogre suit um, because you need him up there to complete the tribute run itself continue making your way through the dungeon back towards the entrance and you're going to be looking for guard fangus he's going to give you another buff and then for the last buff you want to jump down into the courtyard where you'll find another guard for your third and last buff. Make sure you brought your chrono boons so that you can store those buffs for later for your raid. For this next buff we're going to be heading to Fellwood for the Songflower Serenade. The only prequest we're going to need to complete is the one called Cleansing Fellwood which is located down here at the southern part of Fellwood. Once you completed that quest you'll be given a beacon which allows you to collect these corrupted soul shards. Turn enough of these corrupted soul shards in and we'll be given plant salve. Remember to always keep the Cenarian beacon on you when collecting your corrupted soul shards. Once you find a flower that you can cleanse, go over there and cleanse it and then we'll be able to obtain our buff. Now don't forget to unchrono boon and rechrono boon so we can stack all of our world buffs up. And that's it. For another world buff, we're going to be visiting Sage, which is located in the Dark Moon Fair, which is either going to be in Goldshire near Stormwind or in Mulgore near Thunderbluff. Now, to get your buff, you'll need to select specific dialogue for the correct buff you want. I'll link the correct dialogue for your buff on the screen now, courtesy of Trinket on Wowhead. Thank you. And of course, don't forget to unboon and reboon. For the last two buffs, you're essentially going to be waiting around in Stormwind or Ogremar for someone to drop the Anixia quest buff or the Black Hand quest buff, as these buffs only drop when somebody turns the quest in. So you can be waiting around a while sometimes. So when you get it, make sure you crown a boon it. These are currently all the world buffs that you can get in Phase 4 of Season of Discovery. So if you liked and enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, like the smash button. And have a great day. Bye.